Okay, so we're looking at a warrant system here that we're going to fumigate and one of the considerations with fumigating is especially because we tend to do it during the day, um, then most of the rabbits are generally going to be underground. But if you've got an area like this where you've got a bit of long grass, there's still the possibility that rabbits are above the ground. And if they're not in the burrows, well then fumigating is not going to affect them. So one handy thing that can be done is if you've got some working dogs that are keen on chasing rabbits, is actually have the dogs work the area around the warren before you fumigate them and quite possibly drive any rabbits that are above the ground, underground, so that um, they can be there when you do the fumigation. Now what we have here is a modified fumigator. They used to be commonly used with larvicide, which was a fumigant for killing rabbits, but that's no longer available. But one of the things attached to these fumigators was a smoking device, which enables you to help, help find entrances to burrow to warren complexes. Um, so that's still a very handy tool to use if you're able to get hold of one through a state agency or wherever you are. Because one of the most important things with dealing with a rabbit warren when you're fumigating is finding all the entrances. If you miss an entrance or a pop hole somewhere in the distance away from the warren, that gives the rabbits an escape route. And if they're not in there, you're not going to have any success. So using one of these smokers, which I'll get going now, all they do is put diesel onto the hot exhaust and that pumps smoke into the warren complex and then you'll find it feeding out through the entrances and you can take note of where they are and make sure that you get all of them when you do your actual fumigating. start to see in this instance you've got a little pop hole over there which you can see but there's actually smoke coming in on the other side of the fence there out of another entrance over there so that gives you more indication of where to go looking for entrances. When you're smoking it's a good idea to leave the smoker going for a while because that'll give it time to go through all the tunnels but as we can see here very faintly unfortunately the wind's a bit annoying but we've got three other entrances here which are actually connected to those to those burrows over there so they're virtually 10 meters away so it's quite an extensive warren system and obviously still active The aluminium phosphide tablets that we use when fumigating rabbit burrows are actually quite a common thing used in agriculture for fumigating silos and things like that. But one thing I really would like to stress, because it's something that um, quite a few people have actually said to me, you know, that, but they're not dangerous to humans. Well, I'm afraid they are, very much so. So they need to be stored very, very carefully make sure they're locked up, not accessible to children. It's just one thing I'm quite passionate about is that if you've got these things when you're not using them, that they're stored safely well away from where any, anybody that shouldn't access them can access them. What I'm going to demonstrate now is best practice for fumigating with aluminium phosphide tablets. And the idea of fumigating with them is to deal with, once, once you've worked out all the different entrances to a warren complex or if you're dealing with an in individual burrow. Um, one of the first things you should do is actually look at the entrance and just see exactly what the entrance does. This one's quite simple. Some entrances actually divide and might go in two different directions. So it's pretty important to identify that because you may need to actually fumigate with two burrows. But 
you know, the best way to do it is using a bit of poly pipe and the idea of that is you can use that to get the tablets well down into the burrow. The idea of doing that is so that when you backfill with dirt you protect the tablets from being covered by dirt. So normally you would then take a couple of tablets, pop them down in the tube, then make sure you seal that off again, put it well away. Then bearing in mind we have a couple of tablets down in the tube, tip some water down the hole so that ensures the tablets get wet. And grab a little bit more paper. Pull the tube out. So the hole is now blocked. And then we follow up by blocking the entrance with dirt. Tamping it down. So that's got a good seal on it and the tablets are down in there protected from being covered by dirt by the paper and uh, they'll be busily dissolving making creating gas. So then you go around and do the rest of the entrances on the complex that you found. Mm -hmm.